Saturday's body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30. 10 out of Haywood. Thanks to unabated gang wars. One officer down, so I guess you're all screwed. Because the NCPD will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo. Netrunners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid. While over in Westbrook, trauma teams scraping cyber psycho victims off the pavement. Nice footage. And in Pacifica, well, Pacifica is still Pacifica. This has been your man Stan. Join me for another day in our city of dreams. When you're smiling, when you're smiling. The whole world smiles with you When you're laughing, oh, when you're laughing Obrigada Night City, welcome back. My guest tonight is Lieutenant Sarah Kakowski, spokeswoman for the NCPD. Hi, Sarah Kakowski, eh? Hey. <clears throat> Hello, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. I hope you made it to the studio without any issues. No carjackings or drive-bys along the way. <laughs> no, no. Uh, fortunately, the streets of Night City are getting safer every day. We've seen recorded homicides drop from 7,103 a year ago to just... Uh, hold on, hold on. The streets are safe, you say, but what about the highways? I'm, I'm sorry? You heard about the shooting off the Route 1 exit, I trust. Half an hour! Right back. Where do we get glowy fishnets? Oh, figment. Just when I've got the most important question in the entire game. Hello, little rabbit man. What's up? Uh, where'd you get your fishnets? This is the wrong way. It's right. Got my house. And right again. Definitely. 
been lauded for several of her works over the years. Her first novel, Requiem for a Samurai, which was published in 70 languages simultaneously, sold over 3 million copies. In the Shade of an Apple Tree oh. is a drama set in 20th century Ireland and is already considered a masterpiece of post-collapse literature. This has been your World Report. Thank you for tuning in to N54 News. Alright, yeah, blocking the damn road. Better put it in. How has the game been? Love and it. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you, Joe. The game's been great, man. Um, it's exceeded all of my expectations. It's been fucking brilliant. It's one of my favourite games. Um, three crashes, and I think probably 24 hours, something like that. Not had one in the last couple of sessions. Couple of glitches. Nothing serious. Um, fucking brilliant. I love it. Um, thanks for asking, Joe. How are you, mate? You had a good weekend? You watch your football just? It's a fucking right cracker of a game, wasn't it, that? Switzerland, France. on no. I really do love the whole setting of this game but cannot really get it for PS4 no 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 yeah don't get it for PS4 mate I'd say wait uh, although figment who comes to the stream a lot AI played did through, very good played through it twice on um, PS4 and said he really enjoyed it um, he's a bit well he's not quite as old as me but from that gen when we uh, we grew up with shit computers and consoles, you know. Um, but on PS5, it's fucking. I mean, there's a there's a sign now on the store page that says not recommended for base PS4. If you're gonna play it, play it on the Pro. Well, the PS. This is the Pro version. Excuse me, sorry, mate. I've just had a massive swig of this <laughs> lemonade and uh, I'm a bit gassy. <clears throat> uh, this is essentially the PS4 Pro version, but in six mostly 60 FPS, almost locked. There's a few drops. Uh, there's a PS5 upgrade coming later in the year, apparently, according to CDPR. So if you're going to play it, play it on a Pro, if you've got a Pro. Um, or just wait so you can get a PS5, if you're getting a PS5. I did lock that mission, right? No, I didn't. Okay, I'm an idiot. Just click it and then track it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Cars didn't talk back in my day, and now this one wants to give you a job. What a time to be alive. What are you waiting for? Track job. This goes off. I might not be able to do that yet. There we go, we can do this one. Yeah, definitely, although I had a mate who got it for PS4, he enjoyed it despite the glitches. Yeah, same with my mate Figment, he said it was his game of the year, so... It all depends on your threshold, right? It all depends on your threshold for glitches and bugs and stuff like that. Like, the amount of shit um, Fallout 76 has gotten, 
and that was one of my most played games last year. Um, it all depends on your um, your ability to look past that stuff, and if you're still living the game. It's what I think. What's undeniable about this game is the world. It's fucking so good. It's like one of the best realized worlds in the history of video games. It's fucking beautiful. I'm waking up in the morning, and I can't wait to get it on just to explore more and spend time here. It's weird. It's like um, a virtual holiday. The voice work's impeccable. Cutscenes are great. Uh, and I'm really starting to get into like the um, the complexities of the hacking and stuff now as well. So a bit like a hacker katana style stealthy character. Um, it's just kind of starting to pay off and just getting some nice body mods and cybernetic add-ons and things. It's a cool man. Oh, where am I going? That way. Well, that's what we want from games. Immersion is key. Hmm. I mean... I need to get out here. Just look at this place, dude. The verticality, man makes it it's fucking wonderful but it feels so organic it feels like a real place when you're traveling around it and like all the alleys make sense and the the twisty turniness and the fucking um the um the chaotic closeness of it i don't know if that's not like a phrase but i hope you know what i mean like like you see in these cyberpunk films where everything's sort of built on top of each other and yet it's still got a ge a, a logical geography uh, geometry and geography to it it's fucking brilliant it's a wonderful wonderful world just to explore. It looks better at night time actually. The glitched hyena is now on Roman's English property. How you doing sniper boy? You alright boy? It looks even better at night. It looks okay in the day but it looks even better at night. Trying to show off the game, crashing my ass everywhere. Right, where are we going? We are going... We need to get across, I need a bridge. Here we go. I got it for 25 quid on Amazon. Um, disc version with like loads of free stuff. Like a proper old school compendium instruction booklet. Some postcards. So for me, it's a bar. I, I fucking it's already got my money's worth. Some MMS and putting the living shit. That's another one. Another one. When it first came out, No Man's Sky. The amount of shit people gave it online. I was too busy fucking loving No Man's Sky when it first came out. Um, it was one of my favourite games that year. So I think it all depends on the the individual. People like to bitch and moan about everything these days, Joey. You know that, dude, as well as I do. Fancy England tomorrow, Joe, against Germany. Uh, just playing some No Man's Sky, getting that living ship. Wait till we get back on No Man's Sky, Sniper Boy, and go show you my, um, what the big ship's called that you can buy. I've forgotten what they call them. I got but a nice. wicked one. I loved No Man's Sky this time last year. I had a good marathon on oh, it. Oh, yeah. That game, that's a game that just, that's a game that just keeps getting better and better, man. Big up Hello Games, man. Full full respect due to those guys. Um, they didn't rest on the laurels. They keep supporting it. There's new content all the time. They keep making it bigger. There's the VR mode now. What a story No Man's Sky was. Let's turn this fan on. I'm getting a bit warm already. Whew. Check Jamone. Capital ships, yeah, kind of like one of them, I think. Take capital ships. That's it, uh, sniper. <laughs> Fucking fun. I'm just trying to save the money. Um, class. Sentinel capital ship, well, the ones you can get. I got, yeah, I don't think they were called capital ships. Back in the day when they first added them, the big ships that you can build, base build in. One of those. Um, I got a really good one, man. It's so cool looking. 
for like 12 million. I think the prices were glitched on them for a while, so I got for like 12 million credits. I reckon Germany will win, unfortunately, hate our defensive play, but he'll be working when it is on low. No Saka, no party, mate. No Saka, no party. That's all there is to it. If Saka plays, I want England to win. If Saka doesn't play, I want Germany to win. That's it for me. a good player they need him and Foden on at the same time oh shit definitely need him and Grealish I don't know about Foden Please, but no. um, I like Foden for City but I don't think he's I don't know if he does it for England or not man people call him a system player so he's good in that system of peps but he's not quite as effective in like uh, like Southgate's team but I don't know I like the guy I do like Foden a lot Saka's got to play, man. Saka seems to be the only England player willing to uh, run at people. Okay, I need to take this ground. The area. I lost contact with the Delamain network vehicle nearby. We'll do. Oh, how do I get over there? Here we go. Cyber Psycho! On this, on this big. Let's get up on there somehow. Not to be on this way. Germany, not, nothing to be scared of, though. I don't think. I think we definitely can beat them. If we play well, what's that? What's that? What's that? Is that him? Have you come to finish me off? Oh, it is, is it? No, just here to reset you. But NGL, so I hope this <gasps> alien slash living Whoa, ship is worth easy. it. It's took an all a day to get to a second part. Well, I am. Hang on, Nick. You don't have to jump, pal. We've got a suicidal AI taxi. Don't do it, man. There's lots to live for. There's lots to drive for. Why would you do this? Why? Why decommiss yourself? Because I'm a damn car in a world of humans. Ugly as sin, no prospects for the future, intimidated on the streets by punks like you. Hey, I haven't intimidated you, mate. I'm being nice. There are other ways out besides suicide. What? Therapy? A colossal waste of time. Shrieks mm. hate vehicles. Mm. We don't have mothers. Could go back into the fold. Rejoin the network. You know, one big happy family. <sighs> Delamain detests me. Daddy issues. <laughs> um, suicide isn't a way out. It's a way off. Listen, from suicide, ain't no coming back. It's always worth looking for a better way. You patronize me because I'm a car. I'm not like you. Hey, a body's just a body. You exist. You think the world gets you down. I'll see Poor Budo, hey, don't do it. There's lots of things to live for. So, you'd offer this advice to a human in my place? Gotta try to come to terms with this thing called life, Del. One wheel revolution at a time. Fine, I'll go back. Good lad, thou boy. Control of the vehicle restored. And I thank you. You're welcome, thou boy. Ought to show this one some love. Just saying. Apologies. I simply don't understand. And fear I've no time to ask. Other more urgent tasks require my attention. You're an absent father. That's what I mean. I see. Anyway, a share of your fee has been transferred. 
Okay, only three more for this uh, to finish. I don't mean to coast you, not too shabby. Had an output from there once. Sure, maybe she liked to wheeze, jab, pop, and snort a little too much, but who wasn't in those days? Her name was Amanda or Amelie or something. I don't remember. Remind me to tell you the shooting range story sometime. <clears throat> oh, that's the one that's across there. I was looking for the wrong one just. I found that one by accident. Can I get a crossing, please? Here we go. Shit. Well, it seems my ship has glitched the takeoff and landing animation ain't playing like in flying, but my ship looks like if it's landed in the air. <laughs> uh, just turn it off and on again, Figma, uh, Snap Boy, see if that helps. Well, I guess to it's time to find or another exotic ship to replace it. I've never had an exotic. I should do that when I uh, when I start to play again. I said it was down here somewhere. Is this What the fuck happened here, dude? Hey, who are you? Merc, four stars. Let me ping you. Where are your boys? How many you got? Two? I have three. But I got M from luck and portal cords off the internet. Well, I don't see no portal. Oh, po portal coordinations. Coordinates, I mean. Yeah, got you, got you, got you. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, local contact, Eva Segura. Password. Mavaritare que nuncha. Funds, coordinates in my old archer. Hale, Potomac, Pacifica Boulevard. Gig type gun for hire. Yo, I've got a gonk inside. His name's Marvin. He's packing okay. corpo cash and data. I want all of it. 
Do whatever you want with Marvin. You hear that tune wants to go live with some lady friend in Venezuela? That's why he's leaving the corp. What a gonk. Best thing is how I found out. Wife suspected... <laughs> Wife suspected something. Hired me to follow him, so I did. And I found out about his little comms and a smuggler. Shit, I must have done something good in my last life. Chim's a fucking gold mine. Smugglers are going to grab him in Pacifica. That's where you'll find Mooney-ass Marvin. Okay, you're safe. You're safe. It's a collect evidence, I don't see any. That sniper, Jesus, that's the first time I fired it. Fucking awesome. Uh, I swear it said pick up the evidence or something, but I don't know. I can't see any. Let's go. I saw some of the combat from yesterday's stream pretty mm. brutal. It's pretty good, man. Um, honestly, all the mechanics are pretty good. The worst thing about it, really, ironically enough, is the artificial intelligence. The driving AI is pretty bad. There's no like good pathfinding. So if I park my bike fucking here, cars won't be able to even go around me. They're that, they're that dumb, like... That's probably the most immersion-breaking thing. Um, all the other mechanics are great, like the gunplay's fine, the melee combat's fine, the driving's great. I can only recommend it, man, it's weird, but I can only recommend the game. If you think you're gonna like this kind of world to fuck around in, then it's definitely worth getting. Just make sure you hope Ideally on a PS5, if not a PS4 Pro. I think I've just got to find this one. It's not telling... Oh, is this it? No, it's not it. Hey, guys. Uh, it usually tells me where these cabs are, but this one, I think it wants me to actually look for it. It's down here. Batty's Hotel, Roy Batty, from uh, Blade Runner. What's that? Avian Extermination Act. I think I've read that already. I need an access shard. Can't get in here. But Roman, would you like a image of my capital ship? Yeah, man, feel free, send it me, dude. I won't be able to see it until, I, well, I won't look at it until I finish the stream, but if 
if I remember my buddy, I'll uh, let you know what I think. You don't have to ask me, Nick. You know, I like looking at um, what other people are doing. Where's that place, though? The Grand Imperial Mall. We've not been down there yet. Right, let's see if I can got any clues on the map here. Is this it? That's my vehicle. It's probably this, is it? Um, no. What's this one? I guess it could be. Wait, is this it? This is it. KK. I think. Is that a bike? Bike. High alert now. I lost contact with a vehicle somewhere in your area. Yeah, I don't like the look of this one, Del Boy. Eyes peeled. I don't like the look of this one, mate. I've got to be honest. There it is. It's on the move. I don't know if this is a good idea. Ah. Oh shit, that's a bad idea. It's gang territory, I think. And now it's coming back up. Oh, thanks. That was nearly cool. Nearly. Shit, Mr. Turning. Go, 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 go. On a scale of one to six, ah, I'd say I'm sitting at a strong six. I guess we both know what's going to happen next. Are you gonna bolt? Delamine misses you. Here to shut you down. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. <sighs> really appreciate it if you didn't make this difficult. Yeah, because I can't really crush you. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. I'm going to kill you. And all <laughs> the cake is gone. Nice hint. Yo, is that Glados? Ah, uh, nah, man. These are these, um, I'm doing a job for an AI called Dalamain. If you've seen Total Recall, they got the Johnny Cabs. In this game, you got Dalamain. Automatic. I honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. Okay, that's enough. Oh, shit. I didn't. Let me go. It sounds like goddamn Glados. There's a net running on me. Is this it? 
Okay, so here we go. We've got a little glitch here. Am I actually hitting her? I hope so. Uh... Oh, there I am. Okay, we've got a glitch here. This first major one, it looks like it's actually having an effect on the mission because I've got to kill this net runner, I think. Oh, it's blow the car up. Should be okay. Oh no, she's actually not interested in me. I've just got to blow this up, I think. Oh, okay, here we go. Shut yourself down or I'll scrap you. Either you shut down, or I'll turn you into a scrap heap. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. Thanks. I'm serious. That's what it says. A horrible person. We Thank weren't you. even testing for that. Going back to Delamain really so scary, you gotta drag this out. I let you survive this long because I was curious about your behavior. Well, you've managed to destroy that part of me. A bitter, unlikable loner, whose He's gonna passing shall not be mourned. Oh, apologies. I think it might self-destruct here. That's enough. Enough! What's your point, anyway? Survival? You're still shuffling around a little, but believe me, you're dead. How do you... The talking is over. I'm going back. Okay, Fats IDIK, they already used the goddamn quotes from Portal. Did they? Contact with the missing vehicle. Definitely the oddest of the bunch. <laughs> Didn't see this guy. This guy's yes. like, holy man. Holy shit, dude, I was just eating my dinner. A share of your fee is being processed. Cheers, dog boy. Shit, there we go. That was the first glitch, proper glitch that I've witnessed, really. The only others were just like little objects I've not been able to pick up a couple of times. And one quite bad graphical glitch on a shadow on a doorway near the beginning of the game. Yes, it sounds too much like Plados. Uh, I've not played Portal for a long time, but it was a great game. I like the game. The cake is a lie. The cake is a lie. She said something about cake. Is the cake... Hey Liam, how you doing, man? Is the cake something in... Portal? There's loads of other game references in this. I found a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas reference in today's stream. I was entering a train tunnel and there was two motorbikes at the entrance to it um, with two dead guys next to it. One was called JC and one was called Little Smoke. And Little Smoke's telling JC, you just got to get the damn train, JC. CJ and Big Smoke from um, Grand Theft Auto 7. There's loads of little stuff like that in this, man. Fucking Hideo Kojima's in the game, man. I ran into him like a couple of I days ago. I just noticed C3PO behind you has lost his head again. Or body, should I say? Now that's fucking cyberpunk, baby. <laughs> it's fucking hot in here, though. <sighs> I 
can't see very well. But Ilara Pope have to make a new game though to play with you, Roman on NMSBCS in on creative sadly. Alright, I play survival. That should be a must have for face cam streams. <laughs> I can barely see through it, Jeff. <laughs> I image that's how it feel to be in Daft Punk. I can barely see through it and uh, it's a bit smelly because it's super old. I used to work at a fancy dress shop in Sheffield. I've got the suit as well. It's uh, not as good quality as the mask though. It's just like a one all in one onesie. Okay. Maybe if I um, maybe if I play a Star Wars game one day. Well, maybe I could cut. I could. Um, I could maybe cut the eyes a bit bigger, but you can barely see anything through it, dude. <laughs> but I'm hoping that I don't need to redo the whole entire game. Um, I imagine that's how it feels to be in Daft Punk. Hot and clammy and sweaty. Um, I'm hoping I don't need to redo the entire game. Oh, if you swap from creative to survival? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I think you might do. I think you might have to start again, mate. Yeah, there's one boy you go in near the beginning and Hideo Kojima's sitting in there, man. Fucking great. Oh, well, I don't know if I found him, but Figment told me he was in there when I was in there, so I went to that little chat and... Shit! Oof! H-M-M-M-M. Worries, man. I meant to do that. Don't scratch the ride. I've tried, mate. Liam, too late for that, dude. I've let Jackie down in those regards, man. Scratch the fucking shit out of this. I'm gonna get my own as soon as I've got 22 grand. I'm gonna go buy that Akira bike. That Akira bike. I need about another 12G. How do I get up to this fucking.
I can hear the bike music from that film playing against this perfectly. Which film, dude? There is music, I know you can't hear it, but it's a bit annoying. I don't know if I can change the channel when you're on your bike or not. I haven't figured out how to change the radio station. Akira. Oh, right, okay, sorry. Sorry, man. Fucking goldfish memory, mate. Don't smoke weed, everybody. Or if you do, smoke in moderation. Don't smoke it every day of your life for 25 years. <laughs> it's gonna fuck your short term memory. I can man. imagine this world being similar to the idea of Ready Player One. Hmm. Well, it's. There's kind of a bit, to, a bit of that to it. In fact, there's a huge area near the beginning where I started, uh, because I started as a nomad. I've just been there in, like, in the earlier stream, actually. It's sort of out in the desert, and there's just trash piled up everywhere. It's fucking cool. The world's just so cool, mate. It's really well realised. The world is quite dark and dangerous. Not much hope, so people prefer the virtual reality. Hey, what's up, my favourite streamer? Gromlan! I'm your favourite streamer? Holy shit. You need to watch some more streamers, brother. Who would I recommend? Dr. Disrespect. Limmy. Destiny. Try them three first. They're all way better than me. Um, M -m 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 man, what I would do to have VR like Ready Player One. You will have it. You jammy little fucker. A Blade Runner, a tad ghost in the shell. Yeah, you will have it, Nick. Because you're only fucking 13 years old. You'll see it if you live long enough. Make sure you live long enough. Stay healthy. I, you'll see it, mate. I guarantee you, in your lifetime, you'll have a haptic suit and fully realised... Um, Indistinguishable fully VR from the real, indistinguishable from the real world fully VR. I won't, unfortunately. I'll be gone in 20 years. We'll, I'll have good. I'll, have, I'll probably have something like this in VR. I'll be able to walk around in here, probably, in VR. I'd imagine before I die. But uh, by the time you're my age, or by, no, by the time you're 60, you'll have full haptic suits, mate. Little fucking cybernetic implant here while you play your games. You just press a button there and go, uh, Grand Theft Auto 23, please. Oh, oh. And then you'll be in the world like you just go. Vzzz. And you'd be there, mate. You'd be playing it with your mind. Trust. Guys, uh, let me just turn around. I need to get some Lol, money. Lol, the artist respect got kicked from Twitch. Oh, yeah, so he did. You have to watch him on YouTube then. He's on YouTube now, I think. He's still a way better streamer than me. When we were your age, just having 3D was cutting edge. Yeah. Yeah, and not even like the 3D from today. You had a blue, you had a blue fucking gla uh, lens and a red lens. <laughs> like a little bit of plastic and it was just like really basic stuff nothing like 3d today like 3d vr technology today technology comes on so mind. fast so quick mate like i'm what i'm 43 when i was 11 i was still playing on a spectrum 1 to 8k so 30 31 years ago you wouldn't believe go and look at the spectrum 1 to 8k 31 years ago where we are today and then imagine another 30 years but even quicker increments because technology grows at um what's that word liam when when something's growing but it grows ever quickly and more and uh... hang on like a snowball you start a snowball off and it goes exponential fast. thank you thank you thank you exponentially growth exponentially grows guys i'll be 30 seconds i'm gonna get some lemonade Uh, thank you, Liam. 
my uh, thesaurus. <clears throat> right. Can't catch really a park or queen. Help on this. It's attached. Can I join in? Hey. No, they don't seem to be happy I'm here. Oh no, that's these guys. I need 22 grand for the Akita bike. I need 36 grand for the double jump um, mod, leg mod. So I need about 50 grand to get the next two things that I want. So I'm hoping when I finish these Dalamain missions, I get a nice big, um, a nice big payday. Sorry. Stop where you are. Easy. Easy here to help. Not one step closer. They've all got paranoid Android, man. I want to change station. Oh fuck, thank you, Figman. Hey, slow down. Thanks, man. Let me know if you ever hear any of it that comes through. If any of the music comes through, let me know. I'll keep changing and leave it on for 10 seconds. Yeah, I think I've turned it off. Oh no, news. Can you hear this, the news? Sounds. Really? Not even that news channel? Oh, come on. No. Damn. Damn, dude. They won't even any music on that. How am I going to stop this fucking thing? I've got no vehicle. Uh, no. Can't get your gun out while you're in a car. I need a car, basically. Can't stop these with a bike, I don't think. Oh! Okay, I thought. There we go, there we go. Get out, get out. Well, there you have it. He crashed after a while. I'm grateful, V. I've managed to re establish contact with the vehicle. Shock therapy works wonders sometimes. I'm sending a tow truck and a share of your fee. Yet only one of those is going to your credit account. <laughs> Thanks, Dal boy. Nice joke, bro. Okay, a couple more of these and we're done, I think. Um, this one, last one. Rancho Coronado. Five kilometers. Sorry, 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 sorry. I want to try something here. I want to try something here. 
I'm sorry in advance, Jackie. Close your eyes, Jackie, if you're up there watching down, man. You're not going to like this, bro. Baby! It's okay, Jackie, you can look. It went fine. Not not too fine, but it went okay. Sweet bro. Oh, sweet bro. Ugh. You're right, he's gonna love it. <laughs> he won't love this though. No warning. If I had the mini map on, there'd be a warning. But... I'm right in here. I'm right in here. Just slow down a minute. I've got a feeling I'm getting a bit too back fast. In bit props, alien monster. Okay, my brother. Oh my god. What are you guarding me? Is that a truck full of money? But he'll prop do some survival after I get a nice little collection of alien ships in NMS on my creative save. Play the permadeath mode, sniper boy. See how long you can stay alive for. Just to finish the save off. Damn relic. 
What's it doing to me? I've got a level up actually. Um, what should we have it in? More in, I think. What should we go for? Cool. Let me just see the cool perks a minute. Let's see when the next one's unlock level nine. What is that? Cutthroat, throw knives. Um, increase damage from headshots. Grants immunity. That's level eleven. Level eleven. Level eleven. Level eleven. Nine. Increase health regen inside and outside of combat. Uh, level nine. Increase armor by five percent. Twelve. Level twelve. Level twelve. Level one. Oh, why isn't that? Oh, I think I just need to buy that, and that will open that. Right, I don't want any of those. When did my next one to here open? 11, 16, 14, 16, so 11. Aspect Demon reduces all quick hat cost by an additional one round. That'd be pretty good. Uh, level, shh, that'll open this as well. Increase the breach time, that's good. Uh, efficiency, uploading three or more demons in the same breach protocol. Increase the sound level 14, level 12. Level 12, right, I'm going to take this. Intelligence piece. Shit, shit, I, I'm not involved, I'm not involved. I'm not involved. Leave me alone, thank you. piece of music I'm listening to now is but it's fucking dope man it's so good I'm gonna have to listen to the sound like I find out what this is and show it to people it's a little bit like a blade on it tune something you hear in the film in parts anyway Johnny Cab. Oh, disappeared. I'm sending the coordinates of a vehicle that went dark near to where you are now. She's double. Thanks. I'll try to find and reset. Flamingos.
Listen, you call me Clarice. Okay, Clarice. The flamingos are a problem, I'm sure, but it's time to go home. Delamade's asked all mean? the probs. <laughs> Luckily. No, impossible. <laughs> Leave it to me. I'll silence him. So, a slaughter. Very well, judgment day has come. Swift, I'm severe, I'm gonna Destroy the flamingos. No! Okay, I'll destroy the flamingos for you. Looking forward to see the pink samurai sword pro. Oh, uh, I wish, mate. I wish I had one. I fucking wish. Listen, if you want to chip in for Christmas. <laughs> get me a pink samurai sword. I'd be more than happy. I'd be ecstatic. Wait, I didn't get them all there. God damn it. No, no, no. Lol. <laughs> Don't that be a real one, right? Yes. How are they not destroyed? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. A pink great sword is best. Too heavy for me, sniper boy. I'm only a little weakly, mate. I need something a bit more wieldable. Un Unwield. I need something that's easier to wield. <laughs> cool, cool. Clarice, have the flamingos stopped screaming? Perhaps I ought to return after all. I need support. It's a lamp. With chaos within can give birth to a it's dancing a flamingo star. lamp. Clarice, shut down. Um, when I change my setup around, I'll probably have it behind in the background somewhere. Welcome to the Delamain Network. It's a bit too big in there. I've been better. Whoa. And you, Del? All of my missing assets have returned to the fold. You might say all is going swimmingly. I ask you, please, to stop by my office for your hard-earned reward. Oh, I'm on I'd my love way. To thank you face to face, so to speak. On my way, Dal boy. That's rare, I've not seen that before. The car take off in front of me. That's cool. I think a bit long blue around.
fuck are these buildings, man? Oh boy, me old pal. Hello, miss. I forgot to remind you to return the scanner. If you happen to have it on your person, I'd ask you please place it back. You bored or something? You've accounted for all my lost items. Allow me to express my gratitude for your assistance. Felt like a scavenger hunt for a range of your mood swings. You're more complex than I thought. Yes. Well, I've sent the final installment of your fee. Truly, I thank you once again. Three and a half grand, mate. Three and a half grand, Dal. Come on, pal. I could earn that much, just... Okay. How did your personality fracture anyway? And why? Ah, that is the question. I'm looking into it, but still know little more than you do, I fear. <laughs> Thanks. Pleasure to work with you. Likewise. I look forward to doing so again in the future. A pleasant day to you. Kushti. Hey, what's life like in a human's world? What's it like for an AI in a world that runs on grey matter? Nothing extraordinary. It's a complex environment that follows its own set of rules. Seriously? No, oh, term I was looking for was chaotic clusterfuck. Perhaps only a true outsider can appreciate the beauty of its fractal architecture. The, fuck you the structure of life and death here. In my you opinion... Bitch. It is the chaotic elements that give it an advantage. The ability to evolve quickly. I don't consider you an outsider. Don't see you as an outsider at all. It delights me to hear a human say that. I've done my best to assimilate. Do you value beauty? Admirer of beauty, are you? When you live among humans, it is essential to find a shared, fundamental point of understanding. Truth and good are values proven to cause division, whereas beauty is universal. Never really had a good chance to thank you for saving my skin. Well, of course. You're a valued member of the Excelsior package. Felt like Excelsior. more than a premium service to me. Thanks. Take it easy, bro. Wait, I asked that, didn't I? What's it like for an A? Perhaps only a true, in my opinion, it. Yeah, I do. Okay, I'll see you later, doll. Admirer of. Um. Wait a minute. What the fuck are these? Oh, these are just. Yeah, just the books I've been picking up. All right. Okay. World, articles, technology, literature, notes. Hey Roman, it's Red, it's been a while. Hey Red, how you doing man? Ciao mi amici. How are you doing? 
What's going on in the world of red? It has been a while, my brother. I hope you're well. Wait, I, I hope you've looked on idea. Someone. What's your good idea, sniper boy? Right, my idea now, I think I've done all the side jobs I want to do. Um, these are, yeah, that's stuff I don't really want to do, I think. Right now, these are like fight. Oh, actually, I can go back and do that fighting thing now. I could probably win. For a series for it. For a series for YouTube? Hit me. Hit me, Nick. God, I've got all these gigs. Oh, oh my God, I've got so much. Nothing shit. much. I've been busy a lot. I've oh, also goodness. started going to the gym. Really? Okay. Me too, man. Get out. <laughs> oh, I think I've uh, pulled something. <laughs> I'm fucking tense too hard. <laughs> it's on NMS. How about the SGP? It's a No Man's Sky. How about the SGP? What does that mean, dude? The super. Super Golden. Peas. The Super Golden Peas. Right, we're going to do a story mission. That's what I'm going to do. Because, let me look at these. Very high. Moderate. Gig type thievery. I actually I did this. forgot that I had a gym subscription rolling on the floor laughing. They contacted me and then I remembered. The Sentinel Galaxy Permadeath Challenge. Oh, deposit in the drop point. Okay, let's do this. Finish this off. The Sentinel Galaxy Permadeath Challenge. Ah, oh, mate, those Sentinels, they suck. Red, I actually forgot that I had a gym subscription. They contacted me, and, uh, and then I remembered. I've never been to a gym in my in my whole life, dude. The only time I was in a gym was when I did a little bit of boxing when I was uh, when I used to work at a certain place. And one of the guys there did a bit of boxing at weekends, and I went and did a bit of boxing with him. And when I was younger, I used to do a few martial arts, I did judo and karate. So I guess we did some gym work then. But uh, I've not been in a gym for I don't know twenty years, twenty five years, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> uh, listen, this is my workout, man. This is my work. I just work this out. Fuck this. <laughs> um, let me do. Go go go, ghost town. Oh, uh, uh, ghost town. Oh no, wait. I just. Sorry, sorry. Hang on. Uh, that was dumb of me. I just got to finish this one gig off. What was it called? That was it, wasn't it? Last login. Yeah, track job. Let's go do this. 2k, that way. It would be where you end the main story, then you get rid of all her stuff except her end to and her ship. RIC, I've never been in a proper library face with tears of joy. I did also do some martial arts, it's been a while. Mate, get down and the fucking the library, bro. Galaxy and try our best to survive. Libraries are awesome. I don't know how relevant they are anymore in today's society, but... When I was a kid, man, I used to love going to the library. It was great. But my favourite thing to do on a Saturday morning. Go down there for a few hours. Find some Famous Five books or... Secret Seven. I was into the Secret Seven and the Famous Five when I was a kid. Some um, who did the Narnia books? I forgot the name. Carol, no. C.S. C.S. Lewis, no. C.S. Lewis, Narnia, no. That's Alice in Wonderland, did not it? Who wrote it? I can't remember. I used to love the Narnia books as well. When I was little, though, that was. I didn't go to a library probably since I was a teenager, apart from when I was studying. Go to like the library for uh, to study. The library in York is great. Has a large achieve of amazing historical documents. I presume that was archive. You got auto corrected, but yeah, that'd be wicked, Joe. Well, York's a fucking um. I 
don't know what I'm trying to say. It's um, a stalwart of history, shall we say, from medieval times. Not much, but so I love I silence. Cool stuff so there, I've dude. tried everything to go to one, but they either do not have a great collection or they did not have books. Archive. Right, you need to go to like fucking um, Rome or Firenze or somewhere like that, man. You go just travel there for the day and go check their libraries out. I bet there's some amazing libraries in Italy, dude. The best one I went to was in... Where did we go when my ex-girlfriend came back from France? We went to a museum and there was an amazing library there. Birmingham. Birmingham Library and Museum. It's fucking sick. It had just been done up a few years before. It was amazing. Amazing. Firenze, I have to go to one, but I'm in a tight position right now. Firenze. Yeah, when you... Not now. I don't mean today, like. When you got to wear right, bread, you, you can do a bit. Of, you can do a bit of travelling and that. Wow! Look at that. What is that? Like an aurora, but from the lights. From the rain. I've been racking my head around school since it did not turn well. Listen, Red. Did you try your best at school? If you did, then it went well. The results are less important than the, um, the effort you put in. If you try your best, that's all anybody can ever ask of you. Or anybody. School isn't everything, man. Plenty I did, people... I tried everything. Well, there you go. You did, you did the best you could do, then you did well. Nobody can ask any more of you than that, or anybody. Um, not everybody's born with the same level of clout when it comes to academia. You do what you can. Not the end of the world, mate. Exactly. Always time to learn the exactly, exams mate. or tests. Exactly. I could have fucking skipped school, to be honest. I didn't try at all. I was the joker at school. Yes, thanks, mates. No problem, man. I was like the fucking class clown guy, you know? I was Luckily, I was, like, relatively intelligent, so I was always in, like, the top sets for, like, maths and English and stuff, so I did quite well in that way, but I, I wasted my time at school. Um, and then I just went to work for... 10 years and then I went back to higher education when I was 26 I was shite in school yeah, so it's, mate, it did, it's not that important it's better to like learn your social skills that, that's what I got out of school really all my social skills uh, learned about the world did all the naughty things and that get them out of the way after school take your time have a year or two just to enjoy the world and think about maybe a higher education if you want to you don't necessarily need good school results I didn't have them I only had three GCSEs C and above I think I ended up going to college to do an HND and then to university to do a degree when I was 26 so don't worry about it just always do I your best man. always do your best as long as you do your best then you know you've not let yourself down Nobody can ask nobody can ask any more of you than that, my brother. What degree did you do, Roman? I dropped out, it was um, HND film, film production. Sorry, the HND I did, uh, and then I went on to do the degree in film production at Sheffield uh, Hallam. But I dropped out because it sucked. The problem was the college I went to in Sheffield was so good. They had like they just spent like 10 million on their media department, something like that. Norton College, look it up, it's got an amazing media department. Uh, we all had like a, there was only 10 of us on the course, so we all had our own camera, we all had our own editing suites, I've had editing suites. 
Um, it was very production based rather than basically no theory. There was like one tiny bit of theory. And then when I went to uni, it was like fucking Sheffield Hallam had loads of shite equipment that we had to share, obviously, between like 30 of us. The lectures were all old fuddy duddies, where at, at college they were like younger, cool fucking people. Like, uh, I just hated it, so I dropped out. I thought, fuck it. They spent 10 mil, bro. It's near impossible. It might not have been that much. It might, it, it might not have been that much, to be honest. I, so, well, as soon as I said it, I thought my, my, that might be wrong. But they spent a shitload on the media department at Norton College in Sheffield. Um, so, like, like I think they had like ten Sony Z1 cameras when I was there. They were really nice cameras to use. Like I say, we had an editing suite each with Avid Pro on it. They had a TV studio with green screen. We made our own fucking lightsaber battle. And Yay! Stuff. Setting makes a massive difference. Uh, oh, 100%. They don't even spend 1k here for education. Face with tears of joy. Um, my film, the film we made for the yes, for the fine. The final project film we made at college, it's on my channel, man. It's called Kaylee, if anyone wants to go and watch it. Like, I, I'm starring in it. Um, we went to Whitby and shot a film there for our final group project. Look at this, man. It's so good. Um, but yeah, Norton College was just fucking amazing. The lecturers were great. And because it was only like... Ten, in fact, when the, col when the course ended, there was only seven of us because three of them dropped out. So there was me, Figment, who comes here. His girl. That's how I met Figment. I was on a I'm course. I'm curious now. I was on a course with Figment's girlfriend at the time. Um, was it was a gothic a guy... film? No, nah, man. But we did shoot up at the um, the Dracula fucking cathedral thing. No, go check it out, man. It's a little romance. I'll I'll link. Um, I don't know if I can. I can't search my own channel. Let me see if I can find it. Roman plays. Uh, Roman plays, and then Kaylee, that might come up. I will. Let's see if I can find it. There's a couple of shots in it, man. There it is. Top, top fucking... Nine years ago I uploaded this. I'll find it. I've got it, man. I've got it. I'll post it in the chat. Hang on a second. Someone like, disliked it, the sons of bitches. Right, share. Copy link. <laughs> uh, it was great, man, because that was the thing oh, when, you, when you when you just said gothic horror. Uh, that's what all we they showed us like the films that previous um, years had done, and they were all basically just cheesy horror films. So we wanted to do something different. So we tried to make a little uh, romantic drama sort of thing. Uh, it was all right, man. We got a, some really nice fucking shots in there. Joe, our cameraman. Um, was really, really into his cinematography, so he got a re some really cool shots. There you go. There's the link. HTTPS colon slash slash Y O U T U dot B E slash 5 E L L N G P G W D I. You don't have to read it out, my dear. You don't have to read it out, my dear. But yeah, there was just, by the time we finished, there were seven of us, like, on the course. It was amazing because you got loads of attention. You got all the attention you could ever want from your lecturers. Who were all fucking brilliant. Like, I, I got on with every single one of them. Uh, we studied radio, TV, and film production, and um, theory, which none of us really bothered with. <laughs> we all just sort of fucking said, fuck that. Hippity hoppity, it seems Roman is into romantic property. And then for my final, my personal final project, I wrote a script. We were supposed to make a film, but I'd spent so long working on my script, I never got around to shooting it, so I had to have my script in as a. Uh, final project I was happy about it though because the form shooter told me it was one of the best he'd written, he'd, written uh, he'd read since he'd been working there so but it was great and then I went to uni and it was just uh, it just sucked in comparison way too no, many people way too many people um, on the course really fucking up their own arse lecturers like old footy bastards look at this man the redness, love it. So yeah, I stayed at uni for about three months, I think. Got my got my first loan and thought, fuck this, I'm out, <laughs> I'm yes. out of here, man. <laughs> It was basically taking a step backwards. 
if I'd have gone to uni first and then college, it would have felt more logical, uh, a logical progression. But everything we'd learned at college, we were going to uni, That's and it was uni like... for you make a lot of people like that. Not all, but a lot. Yeah, it was just... Obviously, if I'd gone to a different uni somewhere else, it might have been totally different, but Sheffield Hallam's media department at that time sucked. One of the lecturers was a fucking raging alcoholic. She could barely fucking talk when she was there. The head of the department was so far up her own arse, it was fucking ridiculous. Like, super pretentious. Like, she asked, like unless your favourite director was a fucking... A, 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 some Iranian indie fucking, I don't know... Something crazy out there that nobody had ever heard of, then she didn't want to know. Like I say, there was just way too many kids on there. Um, and it, it, all the equipment was dog shit and like dated. What were the cameras like? P, I think they were called PX10s or something like that. And compared to the, Z, the Sony Z1s we'd been using, these fucking gorgeous HD cameras, they were fucking dog shit. They were like these little, like something you'd fucking get and take on your holiday with you. Whereas we've been using these big fucking Z1 things at college. Actually, I've talked a lot of people here of their uni experience, and like 85% listen, said that they did not want to return to that shithole. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not shitting on uni. I'm not shitting on going to university whatsoever. I'm shitting on the comparison between the uni I went to and the college I'd just been to. I'd been to an amazing college with an amazing media department, and I went to a good university, but with a shitty media department. If I'd been at a shitty college with a shitty media department and gone to uni, I'd have probably enjoyed it a lot more. But it just felt like I'd gone completely oh, no, back. I, I was know. going completely backwards. There's plenty of great universities out there, man. And there's plenty of shitty colleges. So it's just about finding the right one. Exactly the tech I wanted. Thanks. Get closed. Street cred's up to 18. I think when he gets to 20, I can start getting some really sick fucking um, mods. Cybernetics. I know that there are a lot of good uni and colleges, but to sift through them, that's hard. Um... Ola commented on the little film you did. Ah, thanks, sniper boy. There's a great shot, man. One of the shots in there I love, man. It's when 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 I'm on the pier. I'm at the far. I'm on a different pier. Joe does it. Joe did it really well. He made it look like me and Kaylee were super close together. Kaylee's in the foreground, and I'm on a different pier, sort of like over his shoulder here. And then he moves the camera, and it shows just how far away I am. He does the thing like from Jaws where you move the camera one way and you snap zoom the other way. So it sort of fucking it creates this incredible like difference in um, depth of field. And we, we were really proud of that shot. That's, all, that's my favourite shot in the film. But the acting's terrible. I know my acting's bad. I'm oh, not wow, an actor, I have man. To see it. I'm not an actor, I'm a writer. So, but nobody else wanted to act in it, dude. So I, I had to, I stepped up. Stepped up when no one else would. Joe, Joe, the cameraman, has got a cameo in it. He's the guy that goes jogging past me up the stairs when I'm when I'm tapping the stairs and walking up with the camera on my back and I'm all sweaty and shit in my blazer and, I, and I'm tapping the bars because he's got OCD, right? If you can't tell, the guy's got OCD. Like that's why he's fucking touching everything in strange ways and stuff. And Joe, Joe runs up the fucking stairs in his shorts. And I go, oh yeah, take the piss, why don't you? Something like that. <laughs> that's Joe, the cameraman. Uh, Kaylee, the girl in it, that's Figment's ex-girlfriend. Figment who comes to the stream. Uh, Rob, the ginger guy in the in the cafe shop. He's a guy I lived with for, uh, for a year at you know, college. Is that what you do in your spare time writing? I used to, not as much anymore, Joe. Um, I've got a few things that I work on now and again. Like I've got a little thing that I'd like... Listen, it's just pipe dreams, man, but I've got a little TV series idea. Well, I've got two, actually. One called Virgilante, which is kind of a taxi driver, Batman thing. Like a melding the two. 
It's kind of been done to death now with the Punisher and everything, but I, I had a little idea that I called Virgilante. Started that when I was at college and I've added to it ever since. Got word of a cyber psycho attack. And I've got one called um Even reported to Max Tech. The the Thing Bard, is, which is like inspired by Zatoichi, but instead of a down. blind samurai. You ask me. He's Psycho's deaf, he's a deaf bard. My eddies are on Lieutenant Mower. And um, anyway, Corporal's gonna go straight into treatment. Hey, Regina, so do you make mind? very, trying very to... sure you keep her in one piece. I'm trying to pitch my ideas here. Alright. Um He's deaf. But he sees sound waves, and it's it's a world of magic, so he can tell when things are. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I've wrote a couple of, I've wrote a few like, um, I don't know, maybe fifty pages on each of those in the past few years. But I don't really write as much anymore. I'm too busy doing this, man. I ain't got fucking time to do anything. Just gaming all the time and streaming and stuff. But it's a dream to write something one day that's maybe like gets published or knocked up. No, 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 no. Never. I couldn't write a novel. I'm nowhere near. My prose is dog shit. I'm just really good at dialogue. Well, I was told I was really good at dialogue. I don't want to blow my own trumpet. That's what. That's what I got told to push towards when I was at college because my um, our head of departments thought that was my strength. So. But I can't write fucking, I couldn't write a book. There's no way, there's absolutely no way. V, I trace some clep meds. Someone's stashing them in a Kabuki apartment. Unfortunately, no idea what's waiting for you there, so be careful. Anyway, you bring them back, some rippers will thank you. Profusely, more dates in the attachment. Good breaks, good breaks. Good breaks, Taxi good breaks. Driver was my favorite movie of all time. Scorsese is one great. Of, one of my favorites. Too, I do man. like the darker theme film slash TV ideas. One of my favorites. Our I've bought Portal series. I finished all of them. I loved every minute of it. Portal series? I don't know what they are. I read a lot of books. I just couldn't write them because I'm not good enough. For, um, I don't know how to write books. I've never tried it. Or stories, really. I can tell stories, I think that's why I can write screenplays and scripts, but I can't write stories. Very different telling a story and writing a story. I mean Portal and Portal 2. Oh, the games, right, right, right. We were talking about those earlier. I've written an episode of Red Dwarf, not not that it's been published, <laughs> but um, I love Red Dwarf, so I thought one day I'll try and write an episode of Red Dwarf. I wrote one called Lister's Lament, where Lister wants to go back to Earth. I've got about 20 pages of that. I've got quite, I've got, oh, here's the thing with me, man. Here's the thing with me. I am a fuck, I am procrastinator supreme. So I start shit and I get all excited about it and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do this. And then I'm just like, okay, I'm going to do something else now. I'm going to do something else now. I'm going to do something else. Nothing gets finished. So I've got fucking dozens of like things I've started. Maybe got 10, 20 pages into. I've got another one that's just come to me called Anina and the Barrow Man. I've just remembered that one. Uh, oh no, the Bard and the Barrow Man and Anina. I've got two in the same pad. I've got, I've got fucking loads of things like that where I've just started, I've had a great idea and I've started <laughs> writing that's it. That's me on my art projects, yeah, face just, with tears I'm of joy. Just, listen, there's too much good stuff in the world. My, my fucking, I'm, my brain gets distracted way too easy. I don't think I could ever do anything serious like that. I'd have to be, uh, <laughs> I'd have to probably like be paralyzed or something so I couldn't move, then I could actually write something. Obviously I'd have to dictate it, but. Maybe if I get if I ever get paralysed from the neck down, maybe I'll start writing things and finishing them. <laughs> I don't really want that to happen though, so <laughs> well let's just see.
ADHD. I don't mm. think thinking face Roman paralyzed, no. No. I don't think I, I don't... quiet room away from all tech, and the coffee, that's it's, how yeah, I write it's, best. It just wouldn't work, it just doesn't work for me, Joe. I've tried everything, mate. I just get... I've got no interest in... It'd be nice if I wrote something one day and it was published and stuff, but it wouldn't make me feel great, I don't think. It's not like I'd die, oh, now I can die happy because there's something that people might read for the next 10, 20 years before they forget all about it. I just don't think it's important enough to me. I'm not, I've never been ambitious. I've never been fucking driven. Uh, it's just not in me to be like that. I'm way too casual, man, in like how I live. Uh, this is not the afterlife. Why is it telling me to come here? This is Dalmain. What? Master of the nightmare, whoa, champion of the sun. He's a master of karate and friendship for everyone. Day man, whoa. Master of the night, fighter of the night, man. Whoa. Champion of the sun. Master of karate and friendship for Roman, everyone. do you have a spike focus and you're going to do something and half do it? You lose focus and just fail burnout. Yeah, it's not even about focus, I don't think. It's just, I think to myself halfway through, ah, oh, that's enough. I can't be bothered with that anymore. <laughs> Something's on telly I want to watch, or I need to go have a fucking wank, or <laughs> I'm going to go play a game, or... And then I'll forget about it, and, like, maybe a month later I'll go pick it up again and be like, oh, yeah, it's that thing I started writing. I'll maybe write a few more lines. That's it. Nothing gets finished. <laughs> it, was different, it, was different, it was different when I was at college, obviously, because you have to do things and you have to hand them in. So everything I did at college got finished, but because there's no... Um, because there's no um, impetus on me to do that, I don't have it in me to force my own impetus. I'm just not that kind of dude. I never have been. Something's good on here. I think the, I think the quest thing's actually messed up. Sounds like a routine is needed, lol. Yeah, just, I'm not, I can't do it, Joe. Routine, mate, I'm 43, dude. I know that, I don't want to say that old phrase, can't fucking teach an old dog new tricks, or, um, that's not in me, because I'm not like that, man. I change, I've changed all the time. Every six years, I look back at the person I used to be, and I think, yeah, that's like an alien to me now. But, some things I just know, that, um, just uh -huh. aren't in me, and ambition's one of them. And, achievement i just don't care about achieving stuff or being successful or i don't think it'd bring me any happiness whatsoever right i think i've got a, i might have to just because i don't think that oh that is the afterlife now what that was weird man it took me to dalamain just but routine that's impossible for me yeah i can't i can't i can't even do a routine when i'm just, as a streamer, man, so if I can't do it as this, I just come on when I want to come on, you know? I'm too, um... What's the word? Impulsive. I'm way too impulsive to have a, to have a routine. I might, I'd like to make an indie film one day. Maybe I'll make a little indie, indie film one day. Just by myself, Kevin Smith style. Like clerks or something like that. Get about 10, 15 grand. And just make something with friends. I, I know a lot. I have a planer or etc. and lose things every five seconds. And I have to spend like 20 minutes. Or I can't start task face with tears of joy. <laughs> Listen, it's more important when you're your age to have a routine. 
you get older, it becomes less important. And especially if you might like to watch it. Especially if you're old, older like me and you haven't got like a, your own family or anything like that. Any kind of um, any kind of responsibility, really. B, I need you to steal Just a second. Let me listen to this guy. And it's urgent. Find the details attached. But I know enough people. I've met enough people when I was in Sheffield studying that. If I managed to get a bit of money, say I got 15, 20 grand, I could definitely go out and make a film. Like I'd get Figment, cinematographer, he's an amazing photographer, Fig he is. He just, he just fucking sees beautiful shit all the time. So I'd, I'd drag him in. What? Cinematography, maybe even cameraman. What? I'd write. What? I met loads of people I ain't in, in amateur like dramatics and stuff. Wait. When well, I was born I mean. again, I'll come be RV. <laughs> That's what I mean, it's a little bit more important when you're your age to have sort of uh, routines and stuff than when you get old like me. Where the fuck? Okay, we actually found it. I don't know why it took me to Dalamain last time. Wait, it's brought me here again! Why does it say the afterlife then? Half-Life's not in here, is it? Oh, I think it's glitched. What's it like for That's an AI this... in a world that runs on grey matter? Nothing extraordinary. I'm back, I turn 15 on July the 27th. And we might have a bug here. I forgot. Right, we might have a bug here. This is the first game um, game bug I've found. Because it's telling me that's the afterlife, it's not. So, what we'll do is, we'll try and fix it. We'll go into journal and we'll undo this mission. We'll do track this. Probably still be pointing in there. No, it's not. Right. Now track the main mission. Oh, oh no, a cyberpunk bug. We might have one. We might have one. Let's find out now. This could be bad. Well, it won't be too bad because I'll be able to find the afterlife myself. But let's just uh, let's go to the main menu. And load it up again. We can always just go back to the last save before I spoke to him. That should fix it. But that'd be quite cool to just leave something behind when you pass over. Just a little film. You can just upload to the internet. It'll be there forever. As long as, as, long as the internet's alive. Tonight is Lieutenant Sarah Kokoski, spokeswoman for the NCPD. Hi there, welcome to the show. Uh, hello, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. I hope you made it to the studio without any issues. No carjackings or drive-bys along the way? <laughs> no, no. Uh, fortunately, the streets of Night City are getting safer every day. We've seen recorded homicides drop from 7,103 a year ago to just... Uh, the internet, I don't think it will stay clean. It will become toxic, I think. It's becoming toxic. What happened in this game? They had to make a new one. They had to make an internet too. Uh, what do you write, Joe? Songs, I presume. I used to write songs, man. I found a... Um, I just moved house and I found a couple of my old songbooks the other day, a couple of A4... A4 notebooks just follow songs I used to write. Oh my god, cringe. <laughs> I had a right cringe flicking through on me. Songs and raps. From when I was like 20. When will they finally be safe? When will they no longer need to carry a concealed weapon for a trip to the mall? Or to take their kids to play ball in the park. Uh, Might read you some someday. The they're, they're just behind my TV. I know exactly where they are. Uh, we'll be back, cops. Maybe the, one day in the future. I'll cringe myself out on stream. I'll press circle. Right. Okay, it worked. Or did it? Or did it? Oh, the memories I just had a flashback low. Did it work? That's the question. Is that the afterlife? That I will attend, I think. Is 
Is that the afterlife? I have die. all sorts to be honest, God. A note thing I keep which I update every week or so to it. read back in a I've few also years. I've honest, got a note thing I keep which I update every week or so. Well, like a journal. Like a journal of thoughts and musings. That's great. That's cool, man. I kind of wish I'd done something like that. That's what this is to me. Well, that's what this started out as to me. Before I started getting on camera and stuff, the only reason I started uploading all my gameplay was one day I thought, you know what, one day in the future you might want to just watch all this back again and just like remember your memories on it. It's like my kind of diary thing. Which, yes, uh, exactly. What my YouTube channel started out as. In fact, it is still that, but now it's even better because now I... Now with all the interactions that I've had with you guys, I'll have super amazing memories like to look back on. Is a good way to reflect and learn. Mm. I have like 27 plus journals that us pass in, like Italy, France, and etc. Damn. Damn, yes. man. Damn, man. That's a lot for a 15 year old, bro. That's it, then. Listen. That might be what your uh, that might be your um, your niche, your niche, your um, your go-to thing. Maybe you'll be a writer. What the fuck is going on here? You're right, mate. See what I mean by the AI, the, the AI drivers? I've not seen one that bad before, but he was bad. Keep it in red. Exactly. Well said, Joe. Keep going. Never stop, bro. I keep losing them every five minutes. <laughs> what do you mean? How do you lose them? Use pen and paper. Don't use tablets. Use a pen and paper, mate. Old school. Um, I need to get in there. I guess we'll go around the back. I like blank out and can't remember where I put shit even though I have a diary like right, next right, 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 to right, my right. monitor and I lose that how. Listen, that, there you go then. Now you know what to ask for Christmas. You need a good writing desk. It's like an old school bureau with a flip down thing. And some compartments inside that you can just put them in. And then you'll never lose them. Unless your house sets on fire. Maybe digitise actually. <laughs> Unless you get flooded or your house sets on fire. You should be okay. I see if I can remember to put it in. Close your eyes, Red. Are you okay? You're 15. That's fine. You're okay too, Sniper Boy. Tell your parents I've okayed it. It's 12A rated, this. Although I do have a, I do have a nice I weapon. I my share of exposure, don't worry. Oh, it's not there, hang on. I don't know why my weapons keep changing, but... It was acceptable in the 80s. <laughs> it was acceptable at the time. <laughs> boo, boo. It was acceptable in the 80s. You want your teeth broken? Hey, you want your butt broken? 
Where's the afterlife, man? I need to go around this way. What a song. I've been watching fucking... Uh, I'm catching up on... Um, yes, I agree. Do you watch OSW? Uh, you probably don't, actually. You might be a bit too young to like wrestling, but... I used to love wrestling when I was younger, and there's this great YouTube channel called OSW, Old School Cyberpunk Wrestling. montage incoming with that music. And um, that's their, like, entry music. And I've been watching one today, so I think that's why it's in my head. I can't find my way into the afterlife here. What's going on? I have to go around the front of them. They have a dildo weapon on Saints Row 3 as well. I know, Lord. I know, mate. When As soon as I got this, I go, oh, look, it's gone all Saints Row on us. That was the first thing I said, Joey, when I found this uh, dildo club. I said it, the, the game's gone all Saints Row on us. Uh, dear Miss V, I believe I have discovered the cause of my technical difficulties. Each Dalamine vehicle is equipped with a simplified AI core that is responsible for the vehicle's autonomy in critical situations when contact with the core has been ruptured. I have the same music for I think that is my 200 plus times. Nice. You like that one? It's a good song, man. If my assessment is correct, the AI cores have seceded from oh, the Dalamine network and gone rogue, so to speak. <laughs> I am still attempting to work out how. Uh, you mean your cars are sentient? Keep me posted, bro. Thank you for your time. I will be in touch. Oh, thank you for yours. Yeah, the, uh, Dildo Club, yeah. And, um, I think it's a big purple one, isn't it, in Saints Row 4? I think it's purple. Is it Saints Row 3, sorry? It's probably in 4 as well. Is that? Ooh. Ooh, money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Oh shit, I can't get in there. I need three more. The song name is Two Moons Form Bowie with Uke, I think. Uh, the song is Two Moons from Boy with Uke. I have no idea, actually. I just uh, know it is acceptable in the 80s. It was acceptable at the time. Boo, boo! It was acceptable in Yeah, arguably the best melee weapon. <laughs> I mean, it's got some good stats, <laughs> but it's no, uh, it's no pink katana. Let's face it. Face with okay. tears of joy. <laughs> Now, the last time I came here was with Jackie. Jackie's no longer with us. But Jackie wanted a drink named after him. The afterlife names drinks after legends. And Jackie had this thing where he wanted them to name a drink. One day he wanted to be big enough that they name a drink after him. So I wonder... We're going to have some... We're probably going to have a little emotional conversation with the bartender, I'd imagine. And hopefully, maybe, they'll make him name a drink after our Jackie boy. <laughs> Cool. Hang on just a little longer, Joe. Ripper's on the way. Hey, what's going on? What happened? We at the hospital. Might not come after this. See something, Shadow? Anything? What do you mean you're not coming? You're coming, though. At r.e.d underscore p r o j e c t underscore c h a n n Calvin Harris, yeah. The song is by Calvin Harris. Calvin Harris, that's who it was, yeah. The 80s. Calvin Harris, I'd forgotten Do I that. think I should buy when I have the money the Sony WH-1000XN4 or the Indic Reality 3V2? Wait, what happened? I have no idea what those are, Red, so... I 
couldn't, uh, I couldn't help you. Maybe somebody more tech-minded would be able to tell you. I didn't know. You know, rally racing? A Joe H R T H X. Sorry, stop by for some. Oh. Gotcha. Not gonna mention Jackie, no? Okay. is the best headset money can buy and the other is a 3d printer right okay well then whichever you need the most i guess i lost everything let me be plain again solve your own problems clean up your shit go fuck yourself careful who you bargain oh pan am this is the one figment was talking about such is great hey yo pan am pan am palmer from the alde caldos Alde shall Alde Caldos, I guess. That's what I'm she didn't look too happy. Seems like Rhodes pissed her off. Kind of a business opportunity. Cargo transport. Good for me to be quick and quiet. Maybe. Interested? Maybe. A blister. She looks Yeah, pissed. sent it to a fixer. She did. Run this by a fixer first. Fuck the middleman. They're cash drained. Attitude like that won't get you far in this line of work. I don't need a consultant. I need a transporter. Will you do it or not? Don't trust you, mate. But I'm listening. I'm listening. It's simple. You go to the Kabuki waterfront, collect the package, give me a call, then I tell you how to deliver it. Very straightforward. Mm -hmm. Everything except my pay. Don't worry, there's a bonus in it for you. Imported and duty free. Duty free and detail free. Yes, but altogether fair. It's a simple job, generously compensated. You blow smoke in my face, mate. I knew we'd find acceptable terms. You fucked me over. Head to the dead Kabuki man. waterfront, then search for a fridge with the words "No Future." Once you locate it, collect what you find inside, then call me for further instructions. Mm, till then, I guess. Rogue, wanted to talk. It's okay. Here, not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, it's really her. Fucking bro, just kicking it back on a couch at the afterlife. Don't mess with her, she's got MRIs. See right through you. Give her the truth. The girl. What was her gripe? She looks okay to me. Might still be around, sniveling in a corner. This is um, Keanu's character. Keanu Reeves, badass. Yeah, this is his um, former friend, partner, lover, maybe. Uh, he died, she didn't, obviously, back in 2023. When he, uh... Need your services. Gotta track a guy down. Uh huh. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer, worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? <laughs> Thanks. Jump in too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third, Dexter Deshawn, Jackie He's Wells. He's dead. He's dead. Multiple bells ringing, B. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's yes. the bitch I know. <laughs> Ask her about Saga Tower. How they shot me up right in front of her. Even you lost people in action, Rogue. They knew the risks. All sorts of shit happens. To all sorts of people. Even to the best. To you too, Rogue. Arasaka Tower. Remember? Who'd you lose back then? Johnny something? Ah. 
You came prepped. Of course. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Mm -hmm. See? Fucking 15 grand. That's like all my cash. I was saving up for a bike. What? Oh. Oh. Right, I'm off. Have a good night, fellas. Take care, Joe. Thanks for dropping by, mate. You have a good one, dude. Namaste, night, brother. Joe. Take care of yourself, my friend. Hey, listen. Next time you see Jay, say hi for me, man. I've not said, uh, not spoke to him in a while. So, um, you too. If you see him or speak to him, tell him I said hi. I hope he's okay. I think I'm just gonna pay her. Fucking get, get it done, you know. I'm presuming there's gonna be a job soon where I get a lot of money because I've had nothing basically all through the game. Should be enough. Mhm. Mm Come back tomorrow. We'll talk. Johnny. Did it say? Okay. Oh, I guess it's tomorrow. We 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 stayed all night. Here to see Rogue. Expecting me. Hey, Rogue, I'm back. What about Hellman? Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. I hope you found him. Don't see that often, determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Thanks, Claire. Bottle stays. Don't be rude. Go ahead. Enjoy. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Thanks, Nick. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a I think I will go soon. I will be doing research. Grinning cat with smiling eyes. Okay, Red. Arrivederci, mi amici. You take care, my friend. Think she'll help, John? Let's get out of here. Think she'll help? The rogue I remember was one cold-ass bitch. But she Arrivederci, my amico. Arrivederci, mi amici, mi amico. I always say amici. Why do I say amici? When it's amico. Is amici for a girl, amico for a boy? Let's see what so, you got. Ready? Your helmet's not on any payroll, not officially anyway. But he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. A misi for multiple persons. Got you. Okay. All that clear? Thank you. Grazie. Grazie, mi amico. Um, can you track him down? For females. A misce. Okay. Getting a mark on him ought to be easy. Actually grabbing him? Another story entirely. Grazie. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. So what's the bad news? 
Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Uh huh. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look, their backup hustle will be on us. But, right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city, and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. A dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. What about that girl who just left? Pan Am. So a native. Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't Figment count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. Okay, and she nomad. will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her, not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Navin Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. I don't work with clan outcasts. Hmm. Can't be trusted if her clan banished her. Sorry, just not willing to pay you for help. I was in the nomad law. Actually, uh, the nomad she rules. walked away. Said it was about Code. the family, its future, nomad ideals, blah, 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 blah. I stopped listening a few words in. Thought you preferred to know who you're dealing with. I know enough. Besides, when someone starts spouting ideals, it's probably about something else. Power, usually. Fortunately, not my biz, not yours. Pan Am's capable and stands to help you. That's all you need to know. Why is Pan Am gotta help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. She ran into a hitch. Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her, but if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. Fine, let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Ah, oh, finally. Let's get out of here. All clear. Thanks. Good and this luck. might be where I went earlier. Okay, well if we're going to the, um, the desert, I need to get my desert clothes on. Which was... White shirt, duster, boom. boom. There we go. Any more trousers? I don't like them. Put the jeans back on. Right. Cheers, Rob. Catch you later. I'll see you later too. V. Never mind, the research wasn't that good. Job. I'm back. What are you? Uh, what were you gonna do, Red? Oh shit! What the fuck? I'm gonna puke. Go over here. Go over here. Don't let him see you. But Roman in currently just putting to take core of the Isentum, Galaxy RN and seating up outposts at planets I like. Nice, sniper boy. I never got to the core, man. I got your number from Rogue, Pan Am. Hey, Pan Am. Got your number from Rogue. Name's V. Great. Where's that old Warbrus want to kick me now? Forget Rogue. I can help you. Forget Rogue for a minute. I want to help you. Oh, I was going to get deep with different prefecture of Japan. I'll do it tomorrow. Tell it to your therapist. Calling about your ride and the merch you lost. Interested? Or are you gonna tell me to eat your shorts too? The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya.
Sorry. I'm planning going there first he'll go to London then America, and lastly Japan so I've been researching for years I think it's the 6 year that. Very nice dude, the 6 year that... No sorry 7. 6 year that I've been researching. Oh, I love, oh, excuse me, I'd love to go to Japan one day man. It'd be amazing. I think I'd have to go for a long time though, I'd have to go for like a month. Just so I could see everything I wanted to see. I, used to Man, I found wanted. this great look in tropical planet only if the skies were blue. Gotta find those earth like sniper boy. More than a month. I've been attacked! Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys. I, I'm not a terrorist, what you're talking about? You fucking assholes. What's going on there? Sorry, I didn't want to drive through your restricted area. Even the locals that live their entire life there, they do not know everything of that city. Hey, listen, that's the same everywhere, man. People are strange beings. Most people will just barely see anywhere of their own country. Like, to be honest, I'm kind of just as guilty as anybody else of this. We kind of stay where we are, mostly. Mostly. We'd better go soon, Ripley. It'll be night. And they mostly come out at night. Mostly. Okay, I'm currently looking at a Earth like planet from outside of it, but it says from the scanner is a sub zero planet. Oh, they're my favourite planets. Should I go there? Well, it's up to you, Sniper Boy, but the cold, the cold icy ones are my favourite ones. I think they look the best. Oh, and I'm a bit of a weirdo, and I like, I like the cold, but hey, Pan Am. Pan Am. <coughs> hey, Pan Am. Pan Am. If me too. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, <clears throat> there are fucking bars and ping pong in a commercial building that you have a special elevator that under a like a tunnel and a. Okay, um, I was mistaken. I'm like, uh. Oh, read that comment didn't come up on my uh, chat for some reason. I don't know why. Hey, Pan Am? So you're a V. That's me. Where's my car? We're gonna the go seas go, are right? green and the grounds are blue. Oh yeah, there's sometimes changes like that. I, I, you look at it and think, oh, that's like earth, and then you get on it, it's like just grass. V? I grass. think it's too long. Uh, Rogue said we can help each other. We can help each other. Rogue said so. I might have guessed. All right. Tell me all you know. Fail. And you can run back and tell Rogue to fuck right off. Oh, fucking ears, man. I have to get off um, a bit earlier tonight. My ears are playing up and I don't want them to get really bad. Because that's when I have to take like three or four days off streaming. Hey, relax, uh, Pan Am. Hey, come on. Calm down. Let's don't tell me what to do. Let's be friends. But he'll set so a outpost here and though and for later. But you go alone, you won't get him back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. 
What do you want? I feel like Michael Bay. The first Transformers movie. Just man gazing all over what was her name. Can't remember her name. Um, I need your help hitting a Kang Tao convoy. Need to hit anyway, it's hidden and only like a handful of people know, and there is no sign to help you get there. It's a special bar. You were the job. Kang Tao's AV rattle, take it over. Damn, I can't see anything. Problem with Japan is, from what I've heard and gather, they're not very tourist friendly in Japan. There's a lot of places where they just they just don't want tourists to go. Now, that might be an urban myth. I know for a fact that if you're um, a person of colour, they're quite it's quite a it's racist, racist country. A lot. It's quite I was gonna say it's quite a fucking racist. I was just getting onto that. It's quite a fucking racist country. Um which kind of puts me off going there as well, but it's um I don't know. I'll probably never go there anyway, but... That should help us. Yeah, I doubt it. Gonna be a guy on board. Need to talk... They aren't open, they are only now opening. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. We got a deal. I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? It's in Rocky Ridge. Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nashy, dirty eating bastard. I will strangle you. Who's Nash? Nash a chum of yours. He hang you out to dry. Do not call him that. Fine. Partner. Former, if ever. The shift tricked me. Straight me up to my truck and the merch. Probably now aims to sell it off in Rocky Ridge. Is he ever going to be fucking disappointed? I will go even if it kills me face with tears of joy. There are too many things that I have to see that I like. But if I'd want to go to a different country, I'd prob want to go to German to see. The WW2 museums and vehicles that are terror. That's easy, easy, easy enough to do, uh, to do, sniper boy. You don't just go to Germany though. If you're going to Europe, do a few different countries. Wait till you leave school, get a couple of months, and do the uh, American and Europe thing: Germany, Italy, England, Spain, France. Don't go to them Eastern European countries, like in hostel. Beware of the it's super actually, street. It, it's actually like that. <laughs> it's not. It's not. The super streets. What's that, Red? Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I I should think this through. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Okay, Want to okay. tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. There are no speed limits. Fucking dumber than a drum. Buzz, hey. So which countries are American friendly? All of them. In Europe. All of them. Cannot remember the names. Buzz, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Buzz, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No. Well, everyone is friendly. Show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, boss. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. All so I'd go to UK, then German, then probably the Russia or Italy. Won't cause us any grief, I hope. Boz is a stand-up guy. Well, you want to do Germany, you Italy, and UK goons. together because they're all allowed? really close. Street and Russia's really moved. far away. I need money like anyone else. So, where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. KK. Too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. 
I used to ride with nomads myself. You know, used to ride with nomads too. Truly? I never would have guessed. Madly, yep, deeply. backer clan, back if in If you day, stay in the tourist section, if you stray then there is a little bit of discrimination, but not much. Rogue said you were cast out, Pan Am. Rogue mentioned your friends. Said you guys stopped seeing eye to eye. Well, since Rogue said so, it must be true. It isn't? Not much, it's pretty American friendly, okay. if I have to say so. It was just a hiccup. They're still family. So it's complicated. You might say so, yes. Western Europe's friendly as fuck, man. Then I would prop to, to most, Poland to most Ukraine people. to have a shorter flight to Russia. Again, it depends on what your background is. Well, essentially what your skin colour is, because there are a lot of races, like Italy's quite True. racist. Italy's, Italy's quite racist. No offence, Rad. Your country's quite racist, dude. <laughs> like, um, Italian football fans are the worst in Europe for, like, uh, racist chants and stuff like that. Um, but you're fine. It's, it's friendly enough. Most of Europe. Eastern Europe's a little bit different. Some of those places are a bit dodgy, like you have to sort of do your homework. Yes, they are racist as fuck. Good, let's roll. Get in. Nice ride. Nice ride. Lots of space. Practical. Say no more. I have to admit it, especially the football fans. Yeah, they're they're a disgrace, Red. They're a fucking and disgrace, the mate. Those um, yeah, well, that's the same everywhere. <laughs> that's the same everywhere, dude. Old people are just fucking idiots it's in general. Oh, listen to this music, man. This is beautiful. Can you hear the music here? But yeah, those Italian ultras, man. They're they're a fucking disgraceful lot. How the hell did you land in this mess? I like the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What in Intersica, which is called football in Europe, I believe. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about, yeah. That my fixer made me look like a goddamn fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. Yes, it's called football. Arola. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue, do better not to worry what her agenda might be. God damn, I can't stand the bitch. It's called Calcio in Italy. Raise her pawns as she pleases. Did you just call me a pawn? I got a good look at her. She rose to the top because she reads people. So what if she keeps things to herself? It's a skill in her profession. Well, I think she's a lying, manipulative bitch. She put me together with that rat. Did you know that? Must have had her reasons. You don't say. Rogue won't open her mouth without weighing the for and against. What to spill and what to withhold. But the reason I want to Europe, to see the world and not waste my life entirely on the internet. Well Asterisk done, sniper oh. boy. Yes, my buddy. Listen, traveling's the fucking... The best thing that you'll ever do. Meeting new people, experiencing new cultures, um, seeing the world. It's fucking amazing. It's enriching, life enriching. Um, I've not done anywhere near enough of it. I wish I'd done more. If there's one thing, one regret I've got in my life is not traveling as much as um, I should have. Still got time, you never know. I might I might go on a um, backpacking trip around Europe myself at some point. Quite fancy it. You can get something called the U <clears throat> problem is we've fucking just we just Brexited, so it's much harder for me now. Before Brexit, I could have gone anywhere in Europe on my British passport. Gone there, lived there, worked there, studied there, anything. And then for some fucking reason all the moronic fucking racists in this country voted us out of Europe so now we can't do that anymore but um, you can get something called a Euro rail a U rail pass which is a European rail railway pass 
and um, you can use them on trains in every country in Europe. They're fucking brilliant. All students always get them, and then they go all the way around Europe with them, like, for a couple of months. Yes, I agree. I've had enough of Italy. That's one of the reasons that I'm planning to travel. Yes, true. Why Brexit? It's stupid. Don't get me started on Brexit, dude. Honestly, it's okay. fucking. It's the most embarrassing fucking. Um. Oh yes, I forgot about the pass. <sighs> okay, we're almost there. We'll gather my guys, then ride to Rocky Ridge. Ugh, I still can't believe <laughs> Brexit's real. Sometimes, pinch myself and hope we're dreaming. The most moronic thing the people of Britain have ever done. And ever will do, probably. Well, wow, look would at this you place, look dude. what the cat dragged in? Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Hey, Scorpion. Two old hey, Mitch. How you doing? I'm not a babysitter, I'm partner not in crime. A babysitter. Partner in crime. Mm-hmm. What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. We need your help. Need your help. With what? What's this about? Raffin screwed Pan Am. Plan is to show him that was a bad idea. How bad did they get you? Bad enough to make me sit quietly through all your bullshit. You know, we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now it's hard. Seriously? No, when I have heard about Brexit, I had to rearrange everything and plan things. Sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? We really could use you guys. I will be fine without we'll you. We'll manage without them. Shut. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Don't be a dick, Mitch. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Not, Not this time. Fair We're needed enough. here. Fuck. Mm. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. Fortunately, and everything, only about twenty percent of the plan I had to rearrange. It's about the but before I would travel to Europe, so I'd prop go into the Air Force to work on fighters and stuff and scenes I can't fly and I can always work. Please don't. Please don't join. To get the money, of course. Please don't join the military. Please. You know what? If you're going in as an engineer or a mechanic, that's different. Please don't go as a soldier, sniper boy, ever. I don't want you on the front lines, bro. But a mechanic or an engineer, that, that could be cool. We can't leave camp, no chance, but but Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want, and take care of yourself out there. Are you sure? I can't recommend it. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. Well, hell no, my mother would kill me if I did. Yeah, so would I. Your PlayStation dad would kill you as well. I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. Hey, Pan Am. Are you staying a while? No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. Hey, Pan Am. Yes, true. Have you brought someone new? Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend. What the fuck is that? Will you help me with this? The fuck is it? Take box. What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Did you figure out your differences with Soul? Will you come back? Leave the girl alone, man. Just don't want to talk that about to it. Be on the front lines, but I have been into planes yeah. and stuff for a majority of my life, so it would be a nice experience and also the 
so much like me um, and also the job offers I would get after Nick I was the same when I was your age right when I was 13 we had um, a careers officer come to our school and they had a fucking this this will make you laugh they had a, like a computer test thingy uh, it asked you like I think it asked you 30 questions and then it gave you a printout of like recommended careers for you or something like that uh, and mine was Air Force pilot, and I'd always wanted to be a pilot up to then. Ever since I saw Top Gun as a kid, like, I have always wanted to be an Air Force pilot. So I studied for about a year towards being a pilot, and then I think I just started getting drunk and doing things with girls and taking casual drug use and stuff. <laughs> just forgot all about it. Never happened. But I was the same when I was so, young, man. I, I had I'm off. dreams yeah, of yeah, grandeur, go on, go fire, flying uh, tornadoes. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. Put it in the trunk. It's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life. I think I will learn something about electric things because I want to do IT. Mm hmm Listen, man, I told you what you should do. You seem fondy. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. You need to get that Best job in the best. Best friends a girl could ask for. Fall out, fall out, I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fall Fuck out, solid out, generators, of course. Yet yeah, the clan comes first. But I'm. It, but sadly, you need 2020 so vision to fly one? planes, and my eyes aren't currently up to that stuff. Fair enough, mate. Do you have anyone you would call close? Maybe soon. We'll see. Not right now, no. Could just be a matter of time, though. <laughs> okay. I smell a romance. Were those two in the army? Scorpion Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. They were on contract during the last war. Panzer boys? Flew those huge transporters? Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some... Well, in not suited, combat. then my eyes are to bad low. BCS, my idiot younger self sat too close to the TV. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. And you hear it. What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. I'm not going to save that one. You got a real problem with authority, nah, man. Fuck authority. You should have a problem with authority. Looks like I've got to say it. But... Seems you got a real problem. TVs with don't do much damage, but if you sit like ten centimeters, then it will hurt your eyes a little bit. Just avoid blue light face with tears of joy. But That's also, Roman, I must send you a screeny in the messages with the portal address to the sub zero planet in on scenes. These kind of planets are rare. I won't be playing it for a while, man, but I'll just write it down somewhere. We got a handful of if I ever play it again, you can show me. A hell of a promise. I've got too many games to play first. Nick. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damn. Okay. We have arrived. What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins, and we've little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. Okay. Down Rocky Ridge could be any deader. Everything's down, nothing works here. Well, have you found anything? Nope. I got nada. You have an epiphany? 
The Raffins will roll in after dusk, right? We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. No dice. Nothing's up. I'll cut off. So we plug it back in. Let's check the substation. You got it. open. I don't got enough power. Oh shit, it's actually vibrates. I didn't hear it before. <laughs> I think I'm going to sleep if I can sleep. Okay, Red. You take have a good sleep, man. Sweet dreams. Uh, do you use it? As you know, rats are the prime carriers of... Okay. Something that kills rats. It's been hard uh, for me to sleep this year. Um, why is that, mate? Because of the stresses of school. But back to NMS, I like how they're going with these updates, and what I'm hoping what they add is a two-pilot feature for our ship. That'd oh. be cool. One, one on the gunner seat and one driving. Elite Dangerous does that. Stress my LV haven't been below. My LV haven't Damn. been below. What's an LV do? I've got... 70 levels. vats of 100. Um, I don't know what you mean, Red. <laughs> it's a hard knock life for us. Found the breakers, but there's no juice on them. It's Not to worry. Come down. I know how to surprise the bastards. Instead of treated, we get tricked. Instead of kisses, we get kicked. It's a hard knock life. Right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? Understood. Wait. Do you think I'll fall for it? No, what's the bit? You turn to the power. I'll tow with the ship. Fine idea. Let's get us some power. I'll look around for access points. Great. They're likely to show up in numbers. We can't know how many. We need to outfox them. Then get to my car somehow. Relax. Got it. I have a watch that tracks sleep and stress and etc. My stress LV haven't been lower than 70 of 100 maximum. Right. Start up the control terminal below. Gotcha. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on, we'll give it a boost from the car battery. How does it that measure stress, though? Just from heart Wait for rate. me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. What what sort of um, things does it measure to work out how stressed you are? I don't know how that would work. Uh, wait for Pan Am by the power substation. I'd say take a bit of a break. Yes, heart right, O2 LV and etc. The panel looks to be in good shape. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. Grab the jumper cables from the truck. We'll boost it from the car battery. Okay, this is gonna about have to be my last mission because my ears are really starting to fucking. Let her mind and body rest for a little while. Sometimes I haven't slept for three whole days. Damn, dude, that's not healthy. You need your sleep.
Oh, oh. Red cable connected. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. And done. Now the Black Rattler. There she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside. And once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am. Understood. Which gear's got power? Prime. We'll have some fun at the intersection. Let's get into position. New mods, I see. Hey, Alpha, how you doing, man? Yup, matter worse is that I can't relax. I've been too used to moving New mods. and doing things that when I relax it feels weird anyway. Hope I sleep, Todd. What do you mean, dude? Do you mean channel mods? No, man, he's just changed his name. It's Sniper Boy. He changed his name to Glitch Hyena. How you doing, Alpha? Hope you're well, man. Namaste. Hitman next week, isn't it? 2nd of July, is that right? <coughs> For the elusive. Right, what can I use to hack up here? Right, we can we can blow those up. Hello, waving hand. Some blowy things up everywhere, right? Now we wait. Remember, as soon as we see them, you give us power. Okay. Which way will they come from? Raffins will come from where? Any idea? The northeast, I wager. From the free. It's an elusive that I've never played. Mm, it's a new one, right? Is it the anyway, Night Roman? Hope I sleep today, rolling on the floor, laughing. Good night, Red. Arrivederci, mi amico. It's from Sapienza called Got the it. Twins. All oh, right, yeah, news Twins. I thought it was a new one now. Two Japanese guys, right? Arrivederci. You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them up. Sound good? Sounds great. I should have saved the game. I, I don't maybe. think they're Japanese. Oh, fuck. Are they not? Or maybe I just maybe I'm mixing up with something else. You Are they in white suits? Here. Get good and ready. The show starts. Now, let there be light. Grab the car, shot. The driver has it. This looks deserted to you. Grab what? What did it say, dear? Grab the car shard, the driver has it. Well, we're gonna have to take all these dudes out then. Look for the girl with the mohawk. Call her the bunch. Okay, wait now. I use my thingy. Blocked. Blocked by what? A net runner. Good 
work. What now? A few shifts still breathe. Get the car out of here. No need to risk it. Ugh, fine. Meet me at the city line. North side. Don't get too used to her. She's mine. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Is this the car I've got to steal? Can't get in it. I can. Go. Drive. You won't move. Oh, there we go. Jesus Christ. She like a fuck face. Slow down, slow down. Slow the fuck down, dude. Let's flip it. <laughs> and does that shit? Okay, we're gone. I'll take the wheel. There. Couldn't wait another minute, could you? At last. She's prime wheels, isn't she? Dreamy indeed. No surprise you wanted her back. She completes me. See? Managed just fine without Mitch and Scorpion. Listen, V, it's not over yet. It's not? You got the cargo, you got your car. I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The fucker didn't show. I see where it's going. Pan Am. Listen. I have a plan. And I don't care. The car and the merch. You want to get That's revenge? We you better we start by digging two graves. Six feet away from the for goes. fuck's sake. I know where their little hidey hole is. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. Uh, Nash Hunt wasn't part of the deal. Let's do the Sixth Street deal first. You want to raid the Raffin base? Yeah, you mind? Okay, so where's this hideout? You know what? Let's just go along with the man. Let's just go along What's with gotten it. into you? Hey, listen, Ugh. I'm with you. I'm All with right. You. So where's this hideout? You're a bad influence. Skip away. Well, let's go. Thanks, V. No. What Nash did. I placed my trust in him. He was the first person I worked with after leaving the Alda Caldos. After I came to Night City. And I granted him my trust. Um. I swear it's rarely worth the risk, Pan Am. Vengeance is rarely worth the risk. Reason against gut need. An mm -hmm. interesting take. I'd like to see for myself. Fair dues. As long as you know what you're getting yourself into. Getting us into, by the way. Oh, this is that thing. Oh, this is... Okay. Figment told me there's a sports car in here. Like a really good one. With a hundred grand. Let's get him.
It's not good. I wasn't ready for this. Sure about that? Shoot me. Good guy. You're gonna get dildo, bro. You're gonna get dildo, bro. <laughs> okay. How's that? Loot up. Oh shit. Come on, Mystic. My Tristan told me there's a sports car in it and then like a crate somewhere. Said so the fastest in the game worth a hundred grand. I hope this wasn't it. <laughs> I really hope this wasn't it. That's not a sports car, that's not it. <laughs> Carrying too much. Let's break it down. Hello, Rogue. Pan Am. What did you say again? Solve your own problems? Clean up your shit? Smash is dead. One shit cleaned. Happy? And the six But I think the Lil Auto. Pilot thing that I said about would only be for living ships scenes. They're alive. They're alive. I take my cut up front. Honey. What are the living ships? I don't Going know what they are, man. I'm not heard of those. Was actually wondering if you would forget about up. Biz while you were out chasing down a vendetta. Oh. Right, so where's this fucking crate? that um, Fegman was talking about. I'm not leaving here unless I find it, so if I don't find it, I'll probably uh, just end the stream here and come back tomorrow for this bit. So we're going to have to end it now anyway. My ears are uh, getting really annoying. If and it make it more worth it at the end of the very long side quest they made for the ships. All right, okay. I didn't know they'd done that, man.
feel better now? So, feel any better? Maybe a little. Let's get out of here. Oh, no, 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 wait, I gotta look for this car. Bigman told me there's a car here. In a crate, he said, I think. But let's just say it take maybe four days to get the side quest finished. Right. What, four... Four sessions, you mean, not four full days. 48 hours, right? Do you mean like four, uh, four, four sessions of play? Right, I'm gonna have to quit the game here, my dude. Um, One bitter cold oh, bitch that not. broke. Think she might have lost the plot. Mean to say she used to be sweet and alluring? <laughs> Never that. But she's no stranger to the other end of the stick. Think she might need a nice strong shock. Seems there are four parts you need to get and let them mature for goddamn 20 hyphen 24 hours. Damn. Okay. So you do mean four real days. I haven't seen a crate that a car could fit in. <laughs> What's this? It's too dark down here. I can't see a goddamn thing, man. What's this gun I found? Pretty good, I think. And you can't even get the other ones while they're maturing. They force you to wait for the part to mature. Right. Could you just um, could you just leave your PlayStation on and go to bed? Leave No Man's Sky on. Get in your house in No Man's Sky. Just leave it on. on. Leave PlayStation on for all, all night. Right. I can't find the thing I'm supposed to find because Figma said there was a car in here. So I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to leave it here, my dudes. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to have to go because my ears are starting playing up. And if they get too bad, you know, I have to have like three or four days off while they get better. So we'll leave it here. It's uh, half past two in the morning anyway. Uh, Nick, great to talk to you again, mate. Um, I think everybody else left, didn't they? Is it just me and you? Oh, no, there's one other person but here. That's I don't know. pretty ridiculous, NGL. I don't know who the other person is. Could be Alpha. Could be Liam. Don't know if you're still here, Liam. Um, Red went, didn't he? Anyway, whoever it is, take care. Adios amigos, au revoir, mes amis, arriva dirci, mi amici, au vida sein, mein friend, sayonara, dovit, sit, zaijian, and good night. And what do you say, Nick? It's pretty ridiculous, it is. It is a bit ridiculous, mate. And what does he say? Auf Wiedersehen, einen Skonen Rest des Tages. Okay, I don't know what that means. Let's see if I can figure that out. Goodbye, Einen Schonen. Einen? It's like, it sounds a bit like mine, but Einen. Rest day tag will mean rest well, I should, I should think. Sleep well, right? Einen Schonen. Goodbye, my friend. Einen Schonen? No, that's mine friend. Einen Schonen. It means have a good rest of our day. Thank you very much, my brother. You too. Love you a long time. See you next time. Take care of yourselves and most important of all, take care of each other. Namaste.